Well, the Greenville Theater Guild is getting ready to open a new production. This Friday night, the curtain will open for Agatha Christie's Mousetrap. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. A lot of work went into this. Joining me now with more, we have Steve Schultz, the director of the show, along with Jonathan Cook, one of the actors in the show. And great to have both of you with us. Thank you very much. Just I appreciate it. Just a couple it. days away. Just a couple days away. Yeah. Are you getting excited? I have been excited the whole time. Uh, I imagine they are as well now. Yeah. I'm a little terrified. So, <laughs> <laughs> a little terrified. So directing this show, Agatha Christie's Mousetrap, we were just talking longest initial run, still running, yeah. over 60 years. Yeah, 64 years since so it first opened. What was it like when you decided, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this? I want to do this Well, one. intimidating. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's been performed hundreds of thousands of times. Yeah. So, you know, who are we to do our own? But it's fantastic. And once I got the cast, it's been an amazing experience. So. And you play one of the detectives. Yeah, I play uh, Detective the, Trotter, the yep, detective. The detective. Yep. He uh, shows up in the middle of a snowstorm to reveal that one of the characters, one of the people in this boarding house might be a murderer. So. It's a whodunit. Yep, exactly. And of course, this one, what's it like for you to actually be part of a cast like this and doing it's this production? It's been just tremendous fun, a real honor to, to get cast in the show. And like, uh, yeah, I've just had the time of my life performing with all these people. There's a really talented cast and crew that we've got. So tell me a little bit about the storyline here in particular. Well, uh, there's a boarding house in England, and uh, prior to all these guests showing up, someone's been murdered in London. Uh, and we meet this bizarre cast of characters. In the middle of it, this officer shows up on skis because he's the only one strong enough to show <laughs> up and informs them there's been a murder uh, nearby and that the murderer is probably headed to this boarding house. Uh, and it's up to him to try and figure out what's going on and who's related to all these various crimes. And of course we have the couple that comes in. Right, we have the couple who owns the house uh, and then they're, uh, they've just taken over. This is their first time ever having guests, of course. Um, and then we have these series of actual guests in their house who are all very strange. The Italian who's just been stranded, the <laughs> very eccentric wannabe architect, and all kinds of other characters. It earns its title. Very much so. Very much so, yes. What's it like for you working with some of the other cast members? It's been a blast. The, the Italian that he mentioned, Parrot Vicini, is played by Dave Hutton. He just cracks me up every night. Um, we've got a lot of other talented cast members. Uh, Chris and Brenda, who play the couple, are both terrific. It's just, they're all really fun. They're all much better actors than I am, so I, I have to step up my game every night. That was nice, wasn't it? It was very nice. It's, <laughs> they're all fantastic. It's been a great cast. Nobody wants to toot their own horn, right? Correct. But I'm sure you'll toot it for them because I'll you were be saying... Theirs and mine, absolutely, yes. <laughs> theirs and mine. I'll just toot mine, too. <laughs> but you said now looking at it, because you guys have done the rehearsals, and mm -hmm. seeing it come together, it's pretty impressive. It's been amazing. Uh, we've been together for two months now, um, and they've gone through everything from accent and dialect workshops to uh, physical comedy, physical... Um, workshops and rehearsals three, four times a week. It's all come together and the set is just absolutely incredible. We're not even showing awesome. it off until people get there because we just want it to have its own reveal. So, that is cool. Yeah. It's and beautiful. it's of course at Capitol Theater, downtown Greenville. Beautiful Love theater. That place. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Here is the information again. Opening night is coming up this Friday, but it will be for a couple of weekends. It's from the sixteenth through the twenty fifth. They do have matinee performances as well. For more and for your tickets, you can visit the website greenvilletheaterguild.org.